It may not have travel in the festivals. It may not have any other uh, way. See, I am of the belief that, let me quote Riddhi Ghatak in this. Ghatak said, the most nationalistic we become, the most nationalistic we become, the most universal we become. You know? And for me, it is the duty of all of us that contribute this whole filmmaking community in this, in, in this country is to go and find that what is the most nationalistic idea that touches that touches a universal chord. That is that is what that's what it goes. Can I? I, I just wanted to say one thing this, I, because I have a slight view. I I love and hate the international foreign, the foreign language film award because I've done I've been on the jury two or three times and I think it is the most exhausting uh, process of film watching that I've ever done in my life. It's so many films to watch, and, and it's fa fa some of them are fabulous and some of them are difficult to watch. It, it's it's interesting. But there are 23 awards. Now, here, here are the stats. Every year, there are five nominees in 22 categories and 10 or 15 nominees in the best picture category. So about 125 nominees every year. In the last 20 years, there have been over 2,000, 2,200 total nominees. Uh, India has had of that, in any category, has had uh, since 2000 has had about 15 nominees and won six times, which is fabulous. But I think that we, that as a community, a film community here, and I count myself there, I'm down at the ground level pushing young filmmakers up to make their best, best stories here. Um, I think we should look at all of these categories and, and give some pushes so that we have more Ganits and more uh, Kunal uh, Meltas who did uh, Little Terrorist a few years ago, live action film. I think there, are, there is a lot of really amazing filmmaking and, and, and I, 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 I am less uh, worried about the, the foreign languages or because I, I don't know that it always it always reflects the best film. Uh, it's uh, harder. Whereas I think that all the other categories, there's so much richness in the Indian filmmaking right now that they're, and the stories are fresh. Stories from India, stories from Korea, they're really interesting. Like, and really, uh, stories from India, stories from Korea, new and interesting to audiences in the West. They're really, they're, they're bright and surprising. So I, I think, I think, Maybe also the focus should also be on really tackling some of some of the other work. Who needs been waiting to yes. counter? Thank you. No, not counter. I think we're all uh, we're all um, in space of sharing our opinions and experiences here. But it is a classic conversation of art and commerce, right? And I'm a producer. I look at both the aspects: uh, supporting the art, leaning into the art making sure that the art is in its purest form, retained, and the commerce bit of it, that it is well protected, it is guided, it has its maximum chances to perform. Um, what has maximum chances to perform? I mean, we have festivals to show the best of Indian cinema. For any filmmaker, if they are in one corner of India, I would encourage them to apply. I would encourage them to uh, go to Canada, to go to Toronto, to go to VFI, Zurich, incredible Telluride, Sundance, you know, get into the mentorship program. I built my career on that. I work as a producer in a hardcore equity market and I don't come from any money. My, my, my parents and I stayed in 5,000 rupees rented house and I'm a producer. You know, so thank you. So I, I have made the system work for only our house films. So I have not done any mainstream actor films, right? So I am not in the conversation of it. I'm in the conversation of beautiful, purest form, a lot of first-time directors, and a lot of first-time directors who are also trying to find their voice.